Terry. These two are killing it today. I mean, she's found a British manufacturer took away pistol. Look at the size of it. It's not just Terry being small. It is <laughs> long. Brilliant. Let me see if I can get to focus yeah. up. But that is a really old pistol. There we go. Took away. I mean, look at the size of it. Morning. It's Sunday. It's bloody windy. Zero degrees. Zero degrees. It's fresh. Thermal glove time. We're going to give it a go. I've had a month, but I thought I'd give it a try. We are back to little hell because we never did this side of the bridge. Did that side. We did this side. Didn't other way around. Anyway, the water is up. Now, according to the Environment Agency, it was up 50 centimetres. We reckon it's up about two and a half, three foot, don't we? So, yeah, it's definitely a lot harder than we expected. Looks like there's a bit of an undercurrent, so we're going to have to see how we got on here. Now, the fields are flooded. Let me show you around here. As you can see, all the fields are flooded. Even the car park. <laughs> the car park for that hotel is flooded. And there's the chapel from when, what you saw in some previous videos. And you can see down there, it's actually pretty flooded around here. But it's a lovely place, really old. And um, we're going to give it a go, see how we get on. Aaron's not feeling too good today. I think he, he, he's got man flu. he got man flu, mate. Oh, sick in a night. He was, he's been sick, so he's got his coffee, so we'll see how we get on. But bring you back in a minute. That's not bad for it. So now we've got a bit of twisted, looks like bed frame. Got a Swiss Army knife. Just got a random bit of twisted bar. Bit of pole. Just in time for Terry, got the frying pan. Little hook. Very much like a knife blade. That's <laughs> very much like a mill spoon. <laughs> Pole. Bit of bent bar. And a brimming scaffold clamp. Oh, and a spring.
This is murder weapons from scissors. Some keys, a growth stopper. As soon as you roll, I start pulling scaff clamps out. I've got another scaff clamp. Another growth stopper. One for each shoe now. Huh? One for each shoe. <laughs> A battery. Another scaffold fixing. Yeah. And another scaff clamp. I did have one for you, got here, Paul. You can have them all. I'm getting a bucket full of them now. Look. I've got a pan handle. Cast on pipe. <laughs> <Mom, come with ya. laughs> Shouldn't do. If you go to the end of the road, turn right, uh, turn left. Good fellas. I got a good fellas key ring. And just a bit of bar. Oh look, a scaffold fixing. <sighs> that was probably a signpost a long time ago. Um, yeah, it's pretty rotten, just white paint on it. Oh. And a scaffold clamp. That is the top of a briefcase or a bag or something. You can see where the shoulder straps would have gone. There's the lock in the middle of it. And you've got the hinge piece down here. And did something did fall off it when I was lifting it up. It was probably the bag full of gold though, my look. Oh yeah, and we're back on the Grosch.
another bit of that cast iron piping. A bit more on my bag, the bit's broke off it. And I wish you'd stop mentioning scaffolding. Back on the garage. There is a pub there, so it probably explains it. Bring it here, bring it here. Paul, Paul's got a hole in his bucket. Well. I don't yeah. think there's a lot left of it, to be fair. What's this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that your pendulum weight? <laughs> Got a bolt and a bit of bar. And um, probably. I've got a bucket handle now. New bucket though. I've got another scaffold clamp. Gross lid, gross lid. And a bit of bar. Cranking handle. For a dinky toy. Another girl slid. It's got a bar and I've got an old fishing rod. See Pilsner on it. Brewed by Is that Carlsberg. So I've got an old can. It's got some green writing on it. Let it dry out a bit. See if we can work out what it is. God, I bloody hope not. No, bloody scaffolding. Scaffold, scaffold. Well, I expect that one to go through over there. Pole. Corrugated sheet. A fork. Just a bit of bar. Got an old cooling fan.
the cast iron drain pipe. I think that law has seen better days. Look at the size of the hook though. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. You can just see two and then it just wants a bit more of a clean up, but it looks like two shillings. 1936. Queen Elizabeth wasn't 1936, she was 1954. Oh. You look at the zoom in picture. 56. 56. Alright, that'd be right, yeah. 56, sorry Paul. I'm saying it's the wrong era for her. It's still quite a cool coin. Yeah. So you found that then? Terry. I've just given it a clean. I'd make sure it's focused. So Terry's found a coin stuck to something. Queen Elizabeth, two shillings, 1956. Cool. I'm stuck. Umbrella from the pub, probably. Yeah. I got an umbrella. A North Ants blue bike lock. A lighter. Some sort of bracket. Or what, but a brackety thing. We've been virtually every possible angle we could. A bit more scaffolding. Always get scaffolding at bridges. A bit more scaffolding. Could be, could be. Don't know what the FH is. Callum, isn't it? Yeah. So he's Callum. You, you probably saw him on the video saying hello to his mum, but he's come along to have a go and he's pulled himself out a, a drain <laughs> cover. Is it heavy? Very. Stand there for a few more minutes, sir. <laughs> uh, only joking. <laughs> nice of him to join us today. <sighs> anyway, down there, buddy, we'll get it cleared oh, up. Yeah. Terry found an impact driver. <sighs> and they've done this? Really? Yeah, but you could be pod. Can you see that alright? Yes. Alright, there we go. So that's lots of random off cuts of rubbish. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look. Paul's photo bomb at me. Look, I think there was a bit of a machine shop here because all I seem to have is cut bits of metal. There's something more than glue in the middle of that lot. There is. And we've got a screwdriver. Come on your way, Paul. Really? <laughs> Thought you lot had done this bit. Well, we've done that bit okay. I mean, doing the edge. This is clearing the edge out. <sighs> this is ridiculous. There's definitely a machine shop around here. Is that pool? Yeah, every pool's like it. Got a bit of pottery wedged against everything. A manky old lure. 
Ah, uh, you get loads of reels. Any good ones? Don't know, I'll chuck them in the rubbish. I'm not a fisherman. There okay, go, handle off a fishing reel. Yeah, I'll just, I don't really keep, unless they're really good and then I might give it to someone. Close your eyes. Yep. No, that's not cannonball. That's denting. It's lead, isn't it? That's it, yeah. That's a very random lump of... It's like a doorknob. Look, because it tapers down. Yeah, it could well be, yeah. Oh, fine. What you found, Paul? Well, he, first, he had a bit of a twitchy moment. First, I was genuinely worried, but then I thought... But he's got a ball in the end of it. Yeah, I thought it was a cannonball. But we're not sure what it is at the moment, but we're going to eat it. We're going to whack it again and just see what happens. Let's put it on the floor. A bit easy to it then, isn't it? Oh, Christ right. almighty. There's a doorknob. Or plum white. Where's that one he pulled out? So we give it a whack. What is it, Paul? It could be a plum bob white. Yeah, it's heavy enough. Very heavy, and there is a hole in the middle. But we give it a good whack, didn't we? None of this poncing around, get in there with a blooming good hit. <laughs> Unless it's got pineapples on it. <laughs> yeah, no, this one's all right. <laughs> this looks more like a pear than a pineapple. <laughs> he likes a pear, does Paul. <sighs> Mopping up the fines now. I've got a floor mop. And a Duracell battery. Mm. Oh. Bungee strap. Duracell battery. That's an old pen knife under all that. <laughs> there we go, I tapped it so you can see it was a pen knife. Fishing spinner. Meat skewer. Murder weapons. Well, remains of them. And I thought that was a bullet, but I've whacked it and it's not. I've got that, some sort of strap off a bucket or something. Oh, these are a fourth couple. So that is half a sheep's ears. We've also had a spring bit on there, so Terry could cut her hair. She's going to kill me for saying that. Um, I've got a bit of chain, fuel cap, and a spike. Well, hopefully, he'll free off that way. Aaron, what? Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> See, I'm a good girl. 
So we had a bit of a moment there because the magnet got stuck. We went on the bridge, we went down that way, we went down that way. Me and Paul had a rest because we was knackered. Terry goes, I've got your magnet. She's thrown hers out and got it, so. I'm gonna have to be nice to her for the rest of the day, ain't I? <laughs> God, that hurts. That hurts more than pulling that magnet. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. That don't make sense because I threw that way. There's <laughs> your... I don't know, I'll have that though every day. Oh, anyway. yeah. I'll get it off. I'll get my gloves on. <laughs> Bit of bar. A knife handle. A heart shaped padlock. And a really weird screwdriver. Um, I don't think I've seen one like before. It's one of them pieces that goes in like a universal one. But it's a Phillips. Weird. Yeah, Paul. You didn't see the post then? You didn't see the post then? Unfortunately, <laughs> so Paul got some big drumsticks, rod rests. Another bucket handle, bit of plate. Oh, blimey. Bit of solid bar. Combitator out of a motor. Bit industrial, that is, isn't it? Yes. How industrial is that bit? Oil clip. End of an RSJ. It's an E. And he got himself an old radio cassette. Probably find of the day that is, Paul. <laughs> Who's is it? Who, what make? <laughs> One of them, an old radio cassette. Oh, the arrow still works. It's an umbrella, a bit of pipe, and a bike clock. A bit of angle on. Scaffold fixing. Scaffold fixing. Oh no. Really? That's one of the best things. Yeah, that ain't coming off there. That's more than one bike. Or is it the handlebars come off? With the handlebars are definitely not on there. You hold that and I'll lift. Um. 
Um, it's got to come out. That's the trouble. <sighs> Stand on the box. It's only when you lean back. We've got to try and come out to get it past that lip. <sighs> Trust me to put the bloody magnets away now. I've got me grapple in there. Oh, I got it. We got it. There. Is this always happening to you, Norman? Just use the other end of this right, mate. Ah, OK. It's probably going to be easy, this. Yeah, I'll just put it on there so I didn't lose it. Oh. If it goes, we're both gonna have broken chins. Oh. Hey? Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 I'm whipping you with an umbrella on. <laughs> Hang on, hold it. There we go. Got a bike. Brilliant. Back of a chair, isn't it? Yeah. Back of a chair. Of course, it's got some wildlife on it. <sighs> Bit of pole and a scaff spanner. Frame of a road sign. I never showed this. Paul got a llama. <laughs> a llama in pyjama. There we go, so we've got a llama as well. Probably the best find of the day. Brilliant. A fence pin and a wedge. Right, okay. Enough's enough. The current's so bad today that the amount of snags we had is unbelievable. The amount of time we spent free magnets off is unbelievable. So we've not got a lot done really. We haven't had the best day, but you know, it's, it's been all right. It's magnificent, that's what it's all about. It's good, it's bad, but we had a laugh. That was the main thing. Shame Aaron couldn't stay and suffer the torture that we did, but we weren't feeling very well. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's see what happened next week can't be any worse can it really thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed make sure you do catch you on the next one